بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوحيد uh, inshallah, as we uh, every time we begin with our hadith by Prophet Muhammad Ali Salatu Wasalam saying that verily Allah has 99 names, 100 but one whosoever knows each and every one of them uh, and say we knows by believing in them and works according to them will enter the paradise. So inshallah our uh, name today for a name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is At-Tawwab. At the web or the acceptor of repentance. The acceptor of repentance. So, uh, as a meaning, when we go to the name of Allah at the web, actually, um, when, when I just searched for the translation of the name of Allah at the web, I found mostly it was the acceptor of repentance. Uh, but um, the meaning of the name is much more wide than just the exception of the repentance or our repentance. A tawbah in Arabic actually means to, re to turn, turning. When you do turn to a, a certain direction, back direction, return back again. So turning back is the tawbah in Arabic. So uh, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, at tawab, when we go to the meaning, we'll find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his name, his beautiful name at Tawab, there is two things happening or two things uh, as definition of such name of Allah. Uh, the first uh, meaning is he is the one who helps his slaves to repent, help them for to repent and to turn back for him and submit completely to him after turning to him. So this is like the first step, first step that will help you, will help you to turn back, will help you to return back. You have the first step. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you to take this first step of, of asking forgiveness because before we ask forgiveness, we have to turn back, turn back from our bad deeds that's supposed to do. And then after turning back, I will ask for the forgiveness. So when we said, uh, as a meaning of the word of the name, the first thing is help his slaves to repent and to submit. And then after they start doing this turning and submission to Allah, he accepts, he accepts this repentance. Uh, so this is the second step. So the first step that he helps us to do the repentance and to uh, turn back to him. And the second, he accepts, accept our repentance, uh, Azza wa Jal. Whatever, whenever, however our sins is. And this is we said, Tawab is like other names of Allah is a hyperbole or an exaggeration form of the a word. So it's happening all the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is accepting our repentance all the time. Uh, whatever this, uh, whatever this um, sins we want to repent or to return back from Allah, how much it is large. And we, we, we mentioned that before in names of Allah al-Ghaffar and al-Ghafur regarding to the quality and to the quantity and we said whatever the numbers of sins you are doing or how large or how big uh, the sins you are doing of course if it is not a shirk or not uh, to make a partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive the uh, the partners to make a partner to him and and after he forgive whatever sins uh, uh, that, uh, other than that so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept our repentance, whatever, whenever, means if we are doing even frequent sins, but every time we repent, we turn back to Allah. And however, our sins, as we mentioned, however it is big or, or small, or uh, what type of sins we are doing and burdens these sins. So this is very important to know the meaning. When we said the acceptor of repentance, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our repentance, but before he helped us to uh, to go for the event, to help us. He grant us repentance and then after uh, we repent to Allah, he will accept this repentance. In, in, in Quran, as we're going to say, فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ You will say all the time, فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِمْ لِيَتُوبُ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ لِيَتُوبُ 
we grant him the repentance that uh, he start to do the repentance and after that help him in the repentance first and then accept the repentance from him. Hope this is clear. Uh, now, how to know the name of Allah at Tawab from Quran and Sunnah? Uh, actually, we'll find that uh, the name of Allah at Tawab came uh, around five times in the Quran. Um, three of them related to uh, sins being committed, and two of them related to the way you express your Tawbah, how to express your Tawbah or your turning back to Allah. The first ayah we have now with us in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah 37, when, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, فَتَلَقَّ آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Here, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, thereupon, uh, Adam received words from his Lord. Thus, he granted him repentance, فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ and accepted it from him. Innahu, uh, indeed, it is he, he who is the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful, at tawab ar-Rahim. So here, fataba alayhi, the word fataba alayhi being translated as granted him repentance and accepted uh, uh, him uh, it from him. This is very important to know th th such meaning. It's not only the acceptors of repentance. He grant repentance and then accept it. Uh, this is, of course, speaking about Prophet Adam alayhi uh, salam after committing the sin of eating from the uh, prohibited uh, tree. And after that, if this is the first time and the first sin happened in the mankind. Um, Prophet Adam didn't know how to uh, turn back to Allah, what to say, what is the word to say. Now, uh, for us, uh, Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, he has a lot of dua came, uh, what you can say after committing uh, sins or how to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But during uh, the time of Prophet Adam, he needs to know what is the, these words. So when, we, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, uh, uh, there upon Adam received words. The words here is the words of istighfar, how to say the yastaghfirullah uh, or to ask Allah for forgiveness. And again in Surah Al-Araf, Rabbana inna zalamna anfusana, O our Lord, uh, we transgressed ourselves, faghfir lana and forgive us. This is the words that being uh, taught by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Prophet Adam. Then we have another ayah in uh, also it's about a sin a sin being committed here by banu israel children of israel with prophet musa in ayah 54 surat al-baqarah wa idh qala musa liqawmihi ya qawmi innakum zalamtum anfusakum bittikhadikum al-ijl fatubu ila bari'ikum faqtulu anfusakum thalikum khayrun lakum inda bari'ikum fataba alaykum innahu huwa at-tawwab ar-rahim and recall, when Moses said to his people, Oh, my people, you have done injustice to yourselves by taking the calf for, for, for worship. So repent to your originator and kill yourselves. That would be better for you with your originator. So he granted you repentance and accepted it from you. Indeed, it is he who is the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about the sin of Banu Israel when Prophet Moses uh, left them for worshipping Allah 40 nights. And when he returned back, he found them, they are worshipping a golden calf. And it's a long story is present in Surah Al-Baqarah. So um, he asked them to uh, repent back to Allah. Repent to originator, as we uh, mentioned before, that the originator, this is one of the beautiful names of Allah. So he asked them to repent to their originator and uh, by this, by doing such things, they, they said that they killed uh, themselves in the night and this was a punishment, a punishment for them that they didn't uh, follow Prophet Moses uh, at that time. And after they did that, of course, not all of them killed each other. It's just been a um, limited time. And after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he uh, raised his, uh, I mean, he, um, make out, out his, his punishment from them. So after that, he granted, again, he granted your repentance and accepted from you. If you did that, so Allah will grant you the repentance and accept it from you. Uh, again, in Surah Al-Baqarah, also at Ayah 128, 
here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about Prophet uh, Ibrahim and Prophet Ismail. Oh, uh, when they are uh, used to build the Kaaba and having the dua during building the Kaaba, our Lord um, make us both submitted to you and from our offspring a Muslim community or submitting to you and show, show us our rights and grant us repentance and accept it from us. Indeed, it is you, you alone, who are the acceptor of repentance and the most merciful. ربنا واجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وأرنا مناسكنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم. Here the dua came from two prophets during the building of the Kaaba. Now they did they are not doing bad thing, right? They are not doing sins. They are building the Kaaba, the, the, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a great, a great rewards will come to them up till now. The house that now the people uh, are doing Hajj and doing Tawaf on, uh, around this house. But why shall they um, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for, uh, to repent or to help them to, re to get back him with repentance and to accept from them? Because actually we need to ask for uh, a repentance if we have missing, if we have missing, even if we are doing a good, or seems to be a good uh, things for the sake of Allah. But it could be missing. We have missing. Something shouldn't be done. It was done even by mistake. Or you um, neglect or you forgot something to be done. So it is from the uh, heedlessness, for example, as a heedlessness. So we ask forgiveness for that. The people even when that's why we are when we are doing our salah after finishing the salah we say the azkar after the salah from this azkar subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah allahu akbar astaghfirullah so you are saying astaghfirullah just immediately after you finish prayer but what the prayer is a good act for all of us but for uh, asking forgiveness for maybe may i i during salah i forgot something i didn't do it perfectly uh, as it should be done or I just uh, forget something I uh, maybe I had something in my mind other ideas away from the salah so all the time we should ask for uh, forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the tawbah uh, of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our repentance Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam he used to ask Allah for forgiveness more than 70 times per day Without, without doing anything, he was, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he was being kept away from doing any bad or sinful things. But despite that, he was for uh, all the time making dhikr with uh, the asking repentance and asking forgiveness of Allah. So this is the explanation of why and this ayah that Prophet, uh, Prophet Ismail and Prophet Ibrahim, although they are building the Kaaba, which is a, a, a very a prestigious and very uh, rewarding um, deed, but at the same time they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to return for him for repentance. Again, we have uh, in Surah at tawbah in Ayah 118, uh, and likewise for the three who looked behind until who lagged, sorry, who lagged behind until when the earth vast as it is closed in on them and their own inner selves closed in on them and they thought that there, is, there, is, uh, there was no refuge from Allah except in him. He then granted them repentance so that they may repent. Indeed, Allah is the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful. Actually, it is, uh, again, uh, there are the story of three companions that lagged behind uh, the Muslim army in one of the Ghazawat or the battles that Prophet Muhammad um, uh, attended and how they did this sin and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, granted them repentance. This is what we're going to have, inshallah, in the related story in a more, uh, in a more explanation. Uh, here, these two ayahs for knowing the name of Allah at Tawab is um, talking about how to do Tawbah or what is the signs of good Tawbah or good return to Allah. In Surah Al Baqarah, Ayah 160, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا وَأَصْلَحُوا وَبَيَّنُوا 
Allah is talking about how is he accept the proper tawbah. Accept those who have repented and reformed and made the truth or made evident. What, what does it mean? That it means that when you say, I repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have to repent and you have to change your behavior. If you have a bad behavior in something and you ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a tawbah and repentance and forgiveness from this bad behavior you are doing, lying, for example. So if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, you, should, you shouldn't lie after that. You shouldn't lie. So reform it means that you uh, uh, fix yourself, fix your uh, sin and do not lie and made evident. Made evidence, yani yeah, make this uh, apparent between people. When you are talking to the people, so the people uh, are feeling that you are not lying, you are not telling them lies anymore because it was a sin and you ask Allah forgiveness from that sin. So this is a sign of a proper tawbah. We'll come actually to the conditions of tawbah, but I would just want to say about this ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying the signs of uh, tawbah, acceptance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, or repentance, that after ma making the uh, turning to Allah, making re repentance, reformed, you changed, you changed your way or your sin to the opposite side, they being liar, for example, you become true stellar and showed that to the people, all the people can see that. It's not just between you and yourself and when uh, talking to the people, you turn back to the lying. So this is the meaning of uh, repentant, reformed and made evidence. Then we have ayah also in Surah Al-Baqarah uh, 104, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, أَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ يَقْبَلُ التَّوْبَةَ عَنْ عِبَادِهِ وَيَأْخُذُ الصَّدَقَاتِ Sorry, Surah Al-Tawbah. It's not Surah Al-Baqarah, I'm sorry. This ayah is in Surah Al-Tawbah. Uh, ayah 104. أَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ يَقْبَلُ التَّوْبَةَ عَنْ عِبَادِهِ وَيَأْخُذُ الصَّدَقَاتِ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Which means, have they not come to know that Allah is the one who accepts repentance from his servants and takes the donation and that Allah is the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful. This ayah is talking about how to um, make easy for the tawbah to be accepted by making donation, by making charity. Because here, as we can stay, see from the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing the acceptance of the tawbah associated with, the, with donation. That Allah takes the donation. Of course, Allah will not take the donation, but Allah will give you the reward of donation. But why he bring it with the uh, acceptance of your repentance? Because it's related. If you want your uh, uh, tawbah to be accepted, it's better to make charity, to make sadaqah. This will make it easier that your tawbah will be accepted. So, as we mentioned now, uh, what we can see in the Quran about the, uh, uh, the name of Allah at the web that it came uh, five times three of them uh, of different types of sins for Prophet Adam, for Banu Israel, for the three companion and the uh, two times to, to show Allah SWT showing us how to make it easy for acceptance, acceptance of this repentance and how the proper signs of uh, Tawbah is or repentance is. Now, we come to the benefits. Benefits of name of Allah at Tawab. Number one, as we are knowing the, uh, of course, we are studying the names of Allah to call him by his name. And I think those days, especially tomorrow, is a very good uh, chance that we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua by his name at Tawab to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to re, uh, uh, grant us repentance and to accept uh, our repentance uh, and as uh, Prophet Muhammad used to uh, say in the Hadith Sahih I seek the forgiveness of Allah and repent to him Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh he used to say, to say that more than 100 times their day so it's better to increase from uh, Astaghfar and Tawbah tomorrow, today and tomorrow uh, especially for tomorrow and may Allah uh, accept all our repentance inshallah 
The other point, a tawab accepts our turning back to him. This is what came in Quran. Uh, and it is he who accepts repentance from his servants and pardon misdeeds. And he knows what you do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, yes, he will accept our repentance. Uh, the tawbah or repentance is for everyone because we are all, as we mentioned, all of us need to return to Allah. It doesn't simply have to be uh, from a hideous sense. It can be because we are so far. We need to return back to Allah. We are not proper. We are not doing proper salah. We are just have all, all the ideas came in our minds during doing salah. We are not uh, focused in reading Quran. We are not pondering the Quran. We are not when you are reading search for the meaning and try to have the feeling that Allah subhanahu wa taala is talking to us when we are reading Quran. If you have, if you put these feelings, my sisters and my daughters, when you are reading Quran, that Allah is talking to you, so you will, you will have a, a different view a different view really uh, and different way of understanding uh, so we need to do this repentance because we have slipped here and there so we need to return it can be because we we want to take a step to get closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we need to return for for what for the success in our life and this is what mentioned in quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and turn to allah in repentance all of you, O oh believers, that you, may, you might that you might succeed. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا لَعَلَّكُمْ يُوَالِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ تُفْلِحُونَ here is to succeed. So Allah subhanahu wa taala is asking from us to do to do the repentance, even if we don't think that we are doing the sins or we don't have bad things. No, just because as we mentioned, every time we can, cannot do everything perfect for Allah, our worshiping to him will not be at any mean, by any mean will be 100% perfect. Because the perfection is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what we mentioned before. That if you seek perfection, it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is perfect in everything. So for us, as a mankind, as a believer, we have to miss something. Even if you are doing good things, we have to miss. Because it's the nature, it's the nature of the mankind to miss. It's not 100%. In a beautiful hadith narrated by Prophet Muhammad uh, was narration about Prophet Muhammad wasalam, indeed Allah extend his hand in the night to forgive the one who sins in the day. And he extend his hand in the day to forgive the one who sins at night. And this continues until the, the, the sun rises from the west. Which means this uh, will continue from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till the day of judgment or yawm al qiyamah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is usually, uh, is always uh, accepting, but we have to go, we have to make the first step, we have to turn. When we just turn, He will grant us the repentance and He will accept it from us. Again, whatever causes you turn, uh, you turn to Him, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, it could be different cause, as I mentioned. The cause that make you return back to Allah could be an ayah, verse in Quran you read. But when you are reading with pondering or with more focus, it can change you. An article, a friend who reminds you, or even the realization of a sin you committed. It's only because the accepter of repentance want to accept your repentance. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you signs. This is what we all say to each other, that there are, in this life, there are signs coming to you. And you have to know that everything's happened. There, sometimes you have signs. You say, no, it's something that sign come to me from Allah. It could be like what we mentioned here. An ayah, a friend tell you, told you something or um, something happened to you and then you, re you regret it and just start to think back about the repentance. All this could be a help, a help from Allah, a messages. Messages sent from Allah to help you to come back again. So um, whatever your sins, as we mentioned, what, uh, nor your heedlessness, you go back to Allah because you know you have a Lord who accepts your turning back to him. Indeed, Allah loves those who frequently repent and he loves those who purify themselves. And this came in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 222. Which does it mean here the repentance is Allah's with purification. 
that you purify yourself by doing repentance, frequent repentance, so you, pur you purify yourself from sins. Because all of us are uh, in, in, um, um, in intentionally can make the sins or uh, something unavoidable. It's the nature of mankind that to do sins because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created us and he said that خَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ يعني the best of the sinner doer, doers are the those are those who repent to Allah. So this is something unavoidable. The sins will be done, will be done, whatever the sins is. So the key here to turn back quickly. Every time you turn back quickly, you purify yourself. If, for example, if we're going to have um, something for the woman, because we have our ladies and our daughters. Of course, I know that our daughters are very, um, are very active and helping mother uh, in um, at home by cleaning. So, if you have a very beautiful uh, table, glass table, and you used to see this table all the time clean, if you just have one drop of juice or anything, tea or whatever, just came in the middle of this beautiful glass table, what you will have. Immediately, you will bring uh, the towel and bring the, any cleaner and start to cleaning because you want the glass to be really, uh, um, like listening. Uh, so glistening glass is your goal. But you have to clean it every day because every day you have dust, maybe juice, maybe tea, maybe uh, food remnants will be on that glass. So it will be affected. The same is us. The same is our heart. Every day is coming unavoidably. We'll make things. And, and we said, even if we are not um, making something that we can uh, consider, it would be just by heedlessness, by forgetting to um, uh, uh, make prayer in a good way, in a perfect way, or dua. So we have to clean, 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 clean. If you're going to clean all the time, so it will, you, it will purify yourself. So the repentance is like this. Continually, re continuous repentance, repentance, repentance will make continuous purification, purification, purification. Then this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is advising us in such ayah. Uh, Allah at Tawab is so generous, so merciful, so accepting of our return to Him. Uh, what will happen? What will happen if we return back to Allah? It will happen uh, one of those things, the three things. Two of them, one of them, it's according to Allah. Allahu A'lam. But what we came in the Quran, we are mentioning for those who repent to Allah. Three things will happen to them. Number one, forgiveness of the sin. Forgiveness of the sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in, so, in here, uh, this uh, ayah, the revelation of the book, Surah Ghafir. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the exalted in mind, the knowing, the forgiver of sin, the acceptor of repentance. So here, acceptor of repentance and the forgiver of the sin. What happened after acceptor, as the acceptor of uh, repentance, will forgive our sin. So when Allah forgives you, He protects you from the effect of your sin on the day of judgment. This is number one. Number two, erasure of the sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and He burdens much. And we said before in the name of Allah, the burdener, and we said the uh, sin is as if it's not happened, erased, erased. This sin as if this erased, and this is what the dua we said uh, during Laylatul Qadr to say, Allahumma inna ka'afoon, kareemun, tuhibbul afafu anna, which means burden uh, us, uh, uh, the burdener, burden us, because you love burdening. So burdening is to erase, erase the sin. Number three, replacement of the sin with good deeds. This is another higher, very, very high degree. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, except for those who repent, believe, and do righteous work, for them, Allah will replace their evil deeds with good. And ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. So imagine that you will not have rewards, that your uh, bad deeds will be changed to the good deeds. See how much is the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how much He is appreciating our. This is the highest, as we mentioned, the highest level of acceptance of your tawbah. Allah will change the ghafla, the heedlessness, the mistakes, the sins, 
all of them, all what happens today to us every day uh, into good deeds. So at the end, we may see mountains, mountains of good deeds, inshallah, for all of us. Now we're coming to the conditions of repentance from sin are following, as stated by some scholars, that scholars said there are four conditions that you should do to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your repentance. According to the scholars, they said, you regret, number one, you regret what you did and you recognize that it is wrong. This is very important because people, some people are doing uh, bad things and they are not recognizing that, recognizing that what they are doing is wrong. They may tell you, my mother uh, uh, used to do that. My father used to do that. My grandfather uh, used to do that. No, Islam came to make your, your mind to work. You work, you have to say what you are doing, what I am now drinking. I have two glasses, glass of wine, glass of milk. Should I drink the wine or should I drink the milk? I will drink the milk. Why? Because this is Islam told me to drink the milk and to be away from the wine. I have meat, halal, and I have a pork. Shall I eat the pork or add the meat? I have to all the time to make my mind, to work on my mind. So if I'm not realizing that what I am doing is wrong, so it's not a repentance. You will not repent. Simply, you will not repent from this sin and because you are not recognizing it is a sin from the start. So the first thing, the first point is to recognize that you're doing wrong thing. And then you regret that. Regret that you are doing that. Number two, stop doing the sin immediately. Immediately, as, as soon as you can. As soon as you can. We said, some people will tell me that maybe in the beginning of Islam, uh, the prohibition of the wine drinking or prohibition of the riba or usually it didn't come didn't came uh, just shortcut or uh, very sharp no it came in gradually yes i will tell yes this is because uh, islam was a new and all these things was um endemic in such cultures and when islam came uh, he, he used the gradual way but now when Islam has been uh, revealed and the roles are clear for everyone, so you have to stop the sin immediately. Don't say, I am drinking wine, so I cannot stop it immediately. No, you have to stop it immediately for Allah, for the sake of Allah. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you. And as we mentioned, Allah grants you repent to accept it, the repentance from you. So every, how Allah will grant the repent by making dua by asking him. He's so, he's the most generous as we made. He was most generous, most appreciative. He just want us to just seek his uh, face, just devoted only to him. Not to make, to, to make his love is priority number one in your heart. If you did that, so Allah Taala will help you, will help you immediately to stop doing this sin. So the first uh, point to regret and to recognize it. Number two, to stop doing immediately. Number three, to intend never to do the sin again. You have the intention, the niya, that you will never go back to this sin. If your sin has to do with the rights of another person, you should return the rights of those you have violated if you can. For example, I took um, uh, money from people. That's not my right. I have to turn back their money, turn back whatever I have. If I couldn't find him, then make dua or supplication or make charity uh, for their rewards. Uh, the scholar said you can do that, but you have to search for such people because it's the right of people. Time. Now we have four conditions. I did the four conditions, but for a way or another, I return back. What I should do? If you turn back to doing sins that you already supposed to have repentance from it, is it the final? It is the end? No, it is not the end. I should repeat again those four steps as the glass table. Just remember the glass table. The glass table, each time I found the dirt in it, I bring the cleaner and the towel start cleaning. Every time I clean again with these four and try as much as you can go through those four conditions. But at any time, if you feel yourself weak and you turn back, repeat them again. 
repeat them again and repeat with them the dua from Allah to help you, to Allah to help you. Uh, return back to the benefits uh, of the name of Allah at Tawab. Um, again, uh, to complete what we said about if you return back to the sins or if you stop doing it, but you have a, um, a feeling of uh, slow development, you this is accept, uh, yani accepted. When you stop doing the sins, you will be difficult. So don't be discouraged if you feel that your development is slow and you didn't suddenly turn to super Muslim. Remember Prophet Muhammad said, the most beloved of actions to Allah are the most consistent ones, even if little in amount. So even if you have two rak'ah, you had a promise that to do two rak'ah every day for Allah, and then suddenly you feel yourself, no, I can do four, no, I can do 10, I can do 20, it's okay. But the most important that just two and continue on the two is better than doing 30 or 40 and then stop after two nights or three nights. This is the issue. This is the, the, uh, the little but consistent is better than a sudden gush and then stopping. This is, and this, by the way, in any way, in anything, yeah, I mean, this is for the worshiping of Allah. And even if you, your work, your progression, your succession in your career, start to do things little by little, but consistent to have the achieve, achievement at the end. Start uh, for the worshiping of Allah, you have to start with the obligatory. We mean that um, we have to start with the pillars of Islam. The, for example, for the um, Salah, I have to start with uh, four rakahs of Isha, four rakahs of Dhuhr, four rakah of uh, Asr, two rakahs of Fajr, three. Start with them. And if you find yourself is okay and khalas, this has become of daily activity, you can go extra, add extra. But don't prioritize the extra over the foundation. This is very important. Don't take for the night then, the, for example, the night prayer and you are not doing the Fajr. It happens. Sometimes you say, oh, okay, tonight I will make the night prayer. And then at the, before the Fajr by one hour, you fell asleep. This is not the way. Because the Fajr is a, a priority on the night prayer. And I'm telling myself that I, I said, before telling you. Yeah, yeah, maybe some time we, we had this fault. That we had the intention that we're going through the night till the Fajr. And what happened that before the Fajr by one hour or half an hour, you fell asleep. You couldn't. So this is very important to take care of. And in Hadith Al-Qudsi or in a divine Hadith, Allah say, nothing endears my servant to me more than doing of what I have made obligatory upon them. Uh, and my servant continue to draw nearer to me with the, uh, the wafil or the uh, super erogatory so that I shall love him. So to be near to Allah is to do the obligatory thing. When you are doing the obligatory first, you became near to Allah. If you want to add for the nawafil, you will, uh, you will near, near to the love of Allah. But you have to start with the obligatory first. And then when we come, when we come to our application of how to live with the name of Allah at Tawab, um, these points are very important. Sisters. When your children return to you after doing mistakes, accept them. Don't make a long time of um, dispute or a long time of disagreement or of arguments. Just be simple with them. When your sister in Islam turns back to you, admit something wrong she did, uh, accept her. Accept her. Don't make for her um, a, long, a long story of blame. Accept her simply without saying any word. When you find your friend or relative committing sins, advise her to repent to a tawab and you will accept her devoted repentance. Always return back to a tawab and have hope. Have hope in his acceptance and forgiveness, whatever the number of sins you did. And lastly, we have the related story to uh, the name of Allah at tawab about the three lad companion. Uh, actually, the, we mentioned this ayah at the beginning of the lecture about those three uh, lagged companion from one of the battles uh, supposed to be uh, attended with Prophet Muhammad and they didn't have any excuses. They were not uh, sick, they were not having people to take care of 
And actually, they admitted that when Prophet Muhammad returned back, alayhi salatu wasalam, by the army uh, from such battle, the, the, the hypocrites, of course, came and start lying and lying and say excuses and said excuses. And Prophet Muhammad know, knew, knew them, knew that they are hypocrites and Allah subhanahu told him about them. But when these three-legged companions came, they were truth teller and they told him, we don't have any excuses. We are wrong. What we did was wrong. And we admit that. So what happened that Prophet Muhammad, um, well, ha haven't, yeah, he has no, at that time, revelation about them. He couldn't do, well, know whatever to do with them. And this is one from the proof that Prophet Muhammad is not taking the, his mind. Everything was from revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he, the, he told them to stay at their homes and uh, like lockdown. Uh, they've been in lockdown, those three companions, even their wives, they were not with them. They were alone at their homes and no one from the uh, companions in Medina at that time were talking to them. And they stayed for that 40 days. 40 days, they've been locked uh, in their homes and if they are go for buying anything, they are not being uh, saluted or uh, any, any talk between them and the other companion. And the, of course, the Prophet is not talking to them. And they were, uh, as the ayah describes their uh, selves, uh, what they are feel, uh, their feelings. Likewise, for the three who lag behind until when the earth's vast as it is, closed on them, as if this earth closed on them and their own selves closed on them. How much their feeling of um, uh, narrowness or narrow or the feeling of um, um, an anxiety with um, something uh, is encroaching, encroaching them, how they will do. Prophet ﷺ is not talking to them and the prophets and the companion the same. So they feel themselves as they couldn't breathe. They couldn't breathe because of this bad feeling they have uh, making their chest is narrow and all the earth with all its vastness is narrow on them. And they saw that there was no refuge from Allah except in him. At that time, after 40 days, the revelation came with this ayah on Prophet Muhammad and uh, Allah said, and he then granted them repentance. See? Here, Allah grant them the repentance so that they may repent. Indeed, Allah is the acceptor of repentance and most merciful. After 40 days, they are suffering from such feelings and from the trace and the effect of the saints, the great sin that they did by um, not going with the army, uh, with the Prophet Muhammad. After 40 days being punished, uh, punished by Allah uh, psychologically, they being punished psychologically, being punished that feelings they have, uh, they have a bad feelings during this time. Then with this ayah came, uh, actually the um, companion, the prophet tell, told the companion in the masjid, and the companion ran, uh, the uh, sorry ran to uh, their houses and start telling them, just having a, it is a good news, good news, good news, Allah subhanahu wa taala accept your repentance and forgave you of what you did and it was a very uh, joy joyful and a very good feeling they had because of allah accept their repentance so this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, describing to us that that might happen to any of us when we did something bad and all the time we said our heart is injured about that things and we feel that all the world around us is so narrow even our chest is so narrow even we cannot breathe then with continuous repentance and continuous asking for forgiveness allah subhanahu will accept and the sign of acceptance is feel that you are much better now that you are have expanded chest that your mood is much more better this all the signs of acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala bihamdika la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of us and to accept our repentance and I ask him tawbah all the time 
Uh, and I aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum jazakum Allah khairan and thank you for your attendance uh, Eid Mubarak for all of you and please don't forget the uh, the repentance of uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tomorrow tomorrow is a great day for repentance thank you so much and